Hello, how are we? Uh, day two of coffee, coffee chat, day two. Uh, again, I will be smoking because it turns out I was not capable of quitting it fully. But I have implemented a system where I will be tracking the amount of smokes I've had, as you can see, as of today. Well, as of yesterday, when this goes up, I have had five, currently, at three. Actually, no, it's, uh, it's six right now, once I have this one. Alright, and I'm go I have on my wall here, I'll try and show it to you. I have on my wall here. A little post-it where I'm basically just gonna have that up on my wall where I can sort of see it so I can keep an eye on how I'm progressing when it comes to cutting down quitting you know all that sort of stuff right so yeah hope that works uh, <coughs> as you can tell I've really developed a very bad smokers cough and I kind of don't want that because that that feels like, you know, it's a dancing on the edge a little of, you know, lung cancer and all that. So, yeah. As of right now, gonna write down some video ideas, you know, like all that sort of stuff. And, yeah, get yourself a coffee and enjoy the vibes. Gonna use a matchstick. You need to bring these back in spell, I swear. Actually, I probably look like a tool doing that. I mean, you always look like a tool when you're smoking. Like, everyone thinks that they look cool when they're smoking, but... Honestly, you just... Like, you're... You know, you, you fell into the trap. You fell into... You did the one thing that you're not supposed to do, you get me? So, video ideas. Hmm... Video ideas. Doing this on camera is probably like one of the one of the worst ideas because I don't know about well I don't know if anyone else who's watching this actually records YouTube videos, but you your brain kind of blanks out. Like it it's weird. Your brain stops thinking the way that it does when you're not being recorded. And it's strange how it works. You got me? Hmm. This is gonna be like a mostly quiet video, honestly, because, you know, I'm gonna be writing for a bit. But still, like, have it playing in the background if you want. I'll be here for you. Get away from that. I can't wait until I actually build up a big enough audience to have like interesting live streams and shit because I feel like this in live stream format honestly would be really nice like all of us just get together have a coffee and like do work and all like if you're doing like you know a business from home all of us get together with a coffee and we just like start doing work together live that'd be awesome actually so 
first idea that I wrote down was keep running when no one else is. Uh, basically, that video idea is just going to be explain the concept of the saying because I kind of came up with it like a few weeks ago. And it really stuck with me. Like, it's one of those phrases. You know how, like, everyone has that phrase that makes them want to push harder. It's one of those phrases that has that effect for me. And I really want to explain why I really gravitated towards it. So that hopefully someone else can use it as a motive, like, a motivating factor in their life. Second video idea I wrote down is you will suffer, which is going to be a video about how hardships are inevitable in life and you need them to sort of develop and grow into like the person that you're going to be later on in life. And I feel like for me personally that like if I had watched a video like that when I was younger or if I had understood that concept when I was younger. I feel like I really could have saved myself some difficulties, like unnecessary difficulties from like the difficulties I was already facing in life. And I hope that can, I hope this video would be able to sort of do that for someone. I mean, it all depends on how I say, it all depends on how I speak my piece in the video, really. Because... It, it's really hard to get across like a concept like that. It's really hard to get across concepts in videos because it's all dependent on who's saying it and who's receiving it. But I hope like if, if it can help one person, then that's like, that's a success for me. Like if, it, if I can help one person, then that's good. That is like, it, that is valuable to me that I have been able to help one person. You get me?
Third video idea is hate won't serve you, which is going to be about how it's better to let go of grudges and be at peace with yourself and others so that you can, I don't know, like it's just, it's a peace of mind thing really because if you have hate in your heart, it will slowly start to wear at you and really like, I don't know, like it'll, it'll take away rather than serve you. It will take away from your life and I want to get that sort of concept across so hopefully someone can learn to appreciate the peace more than the hatred. Fourth video idea is pleasure is overrated. So that's going to be a video sort of explaining that it is much better to seek peace and joy and satisfaction in life over temporary pleasure so that you can, I, got, I don't know, it's it's much better to seek something that's long term rather than short term. So when you seek peace, when you seek joy, when you seek satisfaction, those are things that will stay with you. Those are things where it's like, all right, oh, I'm, I'm going to change something here. I just wrote down to also seek achievements. So it's much better to seek something that can stick with you longer than pleasure can. Because, you know, in life, it's really easy to like, you know, seek something that's a cheap pleasure. You get me? Like it's, it's easy. It's, you can always experience pleasure, but it never really lasts. Like it's only a temporary, like, well, like a temporary high. And then you're back down to where you were. In fact, you're back down lower because of the, uh, you know, the, the thing. Yeah. It, the thing, if you don't know what the thing is, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like every time you, get like a bump of pleasure you will return to a point lower than your baseline and if you keep like getting these cheap like pleasures eventually your baseline will get to the point where it's so low that like regular things that used to make you feel pleasure and make you feel happy just won't cut it anymore so like after a while of seeking pleasure, you'll get to the point where the pleasure will make you actually feel worse than you were when you didn't, when you, 
the pleasure will make you feel lower than the baseline that you used to have. That's probably poorly, poorly explained here. How can I better illustrate this? All right. Imagine this is your baseline. Get the little, this is your baseline like, let's say at the beginning of like a year, right? And if you live a life of like, boom, 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 boom. Eventually, when you get a hit of pleasure, it's only going to like there, right? So you're not even like getting to where you used to be before you experienced all that pleasure. So when you seek peace, joy, and achievements and satisfaction in life, then those things will stick with you and they will increase that baseline rather than give you a little high, essentially, rather than spike it. It will gradually increase rather than spike. Fifth video idea is study your life. And that's gonna be a video about how you should study the mistakes you've made so that you can learn from them. But also, like, just becoming more connected with who you are and learning more about yourself so that you can have, like, a better, like, you can have a bigger picture of who you are so that you can start, like, doing shit optimally. And you can really start to, like, you know, you can essentially start to live your life in a way that's truer to you. Because you'll know who you are, that like, that little bit more. You get me? Sixth video idea, uh, you only have one family. Uh, that's essentially going to be a video about why you should appreciate the people in your family and why you should spend time with them and really, like, create cherished memories with them. Because, you know, like, eventually, like, you know, not to get morbid, but the clock's always ticking. We'll just say that. Clock's always ticking, so make sure to really appreciate the time that you have with 
the people who you share like that blood connection with because like one day you might not be able to and it's better that you have experienced those cherished memories rather than ha regretting not having those memories. You get me? I feel like I say you get me way too much. Like, it, it, it's probably slightly annoying. I'm, I'm sorry if it is annoying you. I'm still gonna say it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, no, uh, apologies if I have annoyed you, you get me? Alright, seventh video idea. This is probably gonna be my last that I'm gonna write down. Because I, like I don't see any point in going above seven video ideas in one day. Because, oh, I have in front of me uh, a few videos on my on my laptop that I have recorded and I've uploaded and those are the videos that I'm gonna be putting up on YouTube and essentially I have like 11 videos that I'm going to be uploading and I don't really see the need to add more to that abundance because like I I'm sorted for the next 11 days on videos well next 12 days with this one actually now I won't be sorted for the next 12 because I'm uploading two videos a day I'm uploading these and then I'm uploading one of the videos that I have recorded like one of the batches of video ideas that I've recorded so I don't, I don't know I don't know not good to think about it just rather get the video ideas down and just record it Damn, it's windy today. 24 hour video. Not tw 24 hour video. Jesus Christ. I shouldn't say the, the Lord's name in vain, but I, that, that, that's gotta be like the stupidest thing I've said all week. But yeah, no, 24 minute video. That's, that's what I meant to, that's what I meant to say. Hair's getting in my mouth. I'm gonna tie it up. Yeah. Should I check out the hairline, by the way? <laughs> Alright. There, that should keep it out of my face.
we go. Doesn't look weird, does it? Yeah. I'm talking to a camera, so you can't really respond to me, but. Leave a comment if my hair looks weird. So that way I can know you got this far in the video. Seventh and probably last video idea is things will get better. Make sure you're ready. So what this video idea is basically going to be is I'm going to talk about how life is a bunch of is a series of ups followed by downs. So life is just constantly going to be like what 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 like that right. So, this video is basically going to tell you that when you are in one of those down periods, it's going to try and bring comfort to you. It's going to try and tell you like, hey, you, things will get better eventually. You just need to hold, you just need to hold on. But when that up comes, like when things do get better... Make sure to make it count. Make sure to really have, like, make sure to cherish it. Make sure to be prepared to make it count and use that time of higher energy, of positivity to actually, like, make some sort of a difference in your life, right? Yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about describing that one. So yeah, that's seven video ideas written down. So now I'm just going to finish this coffee, uh, chat a little, and yeah, we'll be done. And I, I worked out earlier today, right? And I start off with bench press. And I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in myself for what I did during my workout because I, I just wasn't pushing that hard on most exercises. With the exception of bicep curls. I pushed hard on bicep curls today. Like, I, I genuinely thought my arms were about to pop on the second set. But I just kept going. Like, I just kept doing the set. And I'm I'm very proud of that. But um, bench press, I wasn't even, like, going to failure. Like, at least on all the other exercises, I got to the point where I couldn't move the weight. But, you know, I didn't, like, I didn't fight enough for it. Like, I didn't fight enough for the rep. But I did get to the point where, like, at least I couldn't move the weight. But on bench, it was just like, oh, I'm kind of tired. re it. Like, you know. So I'm very disappointed in my performance there. But, eh, it, it's already happened. It's already in the past. So can't really change much about it.
And then after that, I went to my grandparents because apparently I have like a voucher thing for like a club card sort of deal. And yeah, it was nice just being able to talk to my grandparents again. That's actually where the uh, video idea, you only have one family sort of came from. Came from that little experience where like, you know, I was just appreciating being with my family and spending time with them. Coffee stunt. So yeah, make sure to check out the videos today. Keep running when no one else is.